If I had to guess, you probably clicked into this video thinking it would be highly edited with lots of brain rot. Well, you would be disappointed. The quality of this video is not something you should expect to see in the future. It's just that I'm pressed for time with my schoolwork. Maybe I should have thought twice before joining IB. In any case, I still feel like I have an obligation to properly explain the function and its use cases and also respond to the most frequently asked questions and criticisms. Oh, and before we start, I want to thank you all for the support. I'm glad that you enjoyed the last video. And a special thanks to John or CTF576 for posting the video in the Arcane Lineage Discord. He makes really good videos, and I will link his channel in the description if you want to check it out. Unscripted person here. I'll be explaining what the function does. So. 1.186 1.186 is the physical percent damage that you would spawn in with on an account that has full soul tree and also just one race skill point in strength 0.0132 that's essentially how much this percentage the original percentage would increase per one point in strength that would be x and Plus eight is the extra buffs that you get from like armor, leveling up, and all that. That just gets added to strength automatically. Times 1.1 to this is uh, the increase that you get from the brawler armor. So obviously you want to be running brawler armor if you want this function to be accurate. Then there's this, which is your chance to not crit. So one is 100% minus your crit chance would be your chance to, that you wouldn't crit. Again, 0 0.168 is the amount of crit chance you start with on full, full soul tree and a race with one luck skill point. Then 0 0.002 is the amount that crit chance will increase per point in luck and that would be 195 minus x because 195 minus x is would be the amount of points you would invest into luck if you invested an x amount of points in strength and plus five again you get this from just leveling up you get five they just get allocated to it immediately and you can't allocate them elsewhere and this entire bracket is basically the same here now here's where we get into slightly newer stuff so 1.17 is your base crit multiplier so when you do a critical hit you will do 1.7 extra damage if you have one point into luck from your race and a full soul tree plus 0 0.01 per uh skill point invested in luck and that's how much your crit damage increase and 195 minus x is again how much you would be investing into luck if you invested x into strength and then plus 5 from leveling up to level 40. Finally, uh, this is a, just your chance to crit. So uh, as you can see, it's basically the same as this bracket right here. They're the same. So the, the first one was obviously a chance to not crit, but now we removed the 100, so it's just chance to crit. Now, as I've already explained in the first video, but just in case you haven't seen it, I'll just throw it up on screen. Basically, this is just your damage times chance not to crit plus crit damage times chance to crit. This gives you the average damage that you will be doing. And it's pretty simple. You can test out yourself. It works. Now, the other clarification I wanted to mention just now is that this won't predict your actual damage because uh, there's obviously stuff like move scaling which would be x over whatever the move scaling is let's say like 60 which obviously is different for every move and there are other buffs as well like your weapon your enchant your shards all all that really affect how much damage you're actually gonna deal so it's not gonna predict your actual damage but it will uh be able to predict what should be the highest possible uh damage with a st uh, stat split all right, now back to the graph. Let's show you how to use it. So let's just open this up. This is where you can edit all the values, right? So let's let's just use strength for an example. If your race starts with more points in strength than one, you could just increase this number. So if it's like, uh, if it starts with three, you just add three. So this would become twelve, and so with this one, because this one's also uh, related to strength, and then you can see that if you have more 
you would want to go more into luck rather than strength it just shifts back a little bit and you, same would go with with your luck you could change it maybe your race starts with uh, an extra two but there, there's a few actually so i'm not gonna change all of them but you get the point if you want to have something a bit more accurate you could just do that Anyway, so the base one should just be 8, and I would give you these two points, whatever. Uh, the other thing you can do with this is, obviously you could, you would have to do some testing of your own, but you could adjust the starting, the starting amount if you don't have a full soul tree, because some people don't, so you wouldn't be starting with 1.186, which translates to like 118.6. And as I've probably already mentioned, I don't exactly know how move scaling is applied in arcane lineage so i wouldn't know how to apply it in the function either anyways but if you just want to test out with your base move damage which it wouldn't change much like let's say you use a strike just multiplies the damage by five because it's obviously the the rest of the thing is it's just a damage multiplier for this and you would get a the same maximum but it just shows you roughly around how much damage you would do obviously you would do higher damage because move scaling buffs so on move scaling is a bit more complicated i don't know exactly how it works so take this uh next bit with a grain of salt but essentially well how i did it here and it could be different this could be wrong so only follow it if you're trying to experiment it says uh it goes 14 which is our base damage x which is the amount of points we're investing into strength or arcane obviously depends on the stat over 60 which is uh it's it's the scaling and it's different for each and every single move and obviously the same has to go on the other damage bracket that we're doing in order to get a more um to get an actually accurate answer this gives us 80 which i highly doubt but i guess you could try it if you want and I, and we, we can also check what uh it would look like if we were to go 195 and also 123 which is i believe the, the one that the new graph calculates for so here they are uh 80 will give you apparently an average of like 700 damage i think this move is pretty similar to fire drop but, or the flame drop whatever the monk move is though i wouldn't recommend it because it's a single hit uh, 123 will give you 600 and like 72 and then 195 will give you 445 so this is obviously average damage uh obviously i don't know how uh how move scaling works so this could just entirely not be accurate but if you do want to experiment with it uh this is the best way i can think of so far all right and we're back so some unknowns as you may have seen from the previous clips is the move scaling obviously we don't exactly know how it's applied it's never really said so we can't know for sure also how the brawler armor and the elementalist armor applies their buffs is not really known either you never know when it's applied so it could be a source of inaccuracy in terms of damage what was wrong with the old graph in general though was that i missed a few brackets and that threw the results off the results i got were still better than 195 it just that they could have been even better all right now let's go into the frequently asked questions how i made this function uh, well basically, it started before the Dark and Light update, the game was really dry, and I was really bored, so I was like, hmm, maybe I can calculate if a stat split would be better, but due to the uh, blessed artifact system, or whatever it was called, I forgot, it was just not worth it to go for anything apart from full arcane or strength, so I put it away for a little while, but then when the Dark and Light uh, update came along, I thought about it again and, uh, and then I tried it, plugged in the new values and all the new information, and it actually worked. That's about it, I guess. Another frequently asked question was uh, a speed slash luck split. Now the only problem with this is that speed is kind of not really documented, like I don't know what... I don't know how much your crit chance and crit damage will be increased per point in speed. And obviously there's, again, move scaling to worry about, which I would assume would be even worse with speed and luck. Now, don't get fooled by the scaling on the graph. It makes it seem like arcane is a lot better than strength. In reality, it's only like 0.0 like 3 or something. 
of a difference. So it's not important. You could still go Arcane or Strength. But if you want that extra bit of damage, you can just go Arc uh, Arcane instead. But do be warned that if you do do it for Impaler, you'd be losing out on Rending Barrage. Not that Rending Barrage does any damage, but you know. Now things are kind of necessary for this, since I advised and I still advise that you use this with multi-hits, but the things that are really necessary are Crystal Sphere, because unless you're equipping this, which removes crit fatigue, and if you don't know what crit fatigue is, is basically if you're doing a multi-hit, the more you crit, the less likely you become to crit, so it's kind of essential in order for it to be actually accurate. Stellion Core is highly encouraged, but optional, but yeah, that's about it. Another really frequently asked question was, what if I use Endurance, like a certain amount of points in Endurance? Again, this is pretty easy. I'll throw up a clip on screen of what you should be doing. Essentially, you want to reduce the 195 to 185 if you put 10 points in Endurance, or just 180 if you put 15, you know, so on. You just increase the total amount of points because you've taken it off and put it into Endurance instead. Another really frequently asked question was, what about Saint? Saint is mostly a healer, and if you're going DPS Saint, what are you doing? Just go for a proper DPS, come on. And it doesn't affect your heals at all, so if you're playing a support Saint, it, it doesn't matter. This doesn't apply. Dolahan Split, again, just like the Endurance, you could just add the amount of points that Dolan has. I'm pretty sure Dolahan has 208 now, it might be more, I don't remember. But you just set it to whatever Dolahan's total available, uh, allocatable stat points are. Last little mention, I guess if the balance team is looking at this, I know you guys already tried to buff luck scaling, but then Niall said no. I would say it's the best option to make split stats more viable, because at this point you can only really use it with multi-hits. And the problem with that being that you eliminate a big part of your kit, and sometimes even all of your kit. Because if you just have a 50% crit chance, it's not worth the risk of either doing a really good amount of damage or like zero damage and basically getting no damage for that entire game. Okay, that's about the end of the video. Again, sorry for the really bad quality of the video, but I don't have much time. I do have a bunch of non-math related ideas on Arcane Lineage I'm maybe gonna work on soon, but don't expect anything within the next month or so. Oh yeah, shout out to my second biggest hater, Rangsel. Unfortunately right after my sister, but you still do a really good job, I mean, you got a lot of comments just telling people that I suck. Hey, you know what? The world needs more people like you. I mean, questioning authority? That's something that most people don't do. But it's the kind of people that we all need. A rank cell respect button. I appreciate you. But yeah, that's about it. Smash like, I guess.